it like oh, that well. is a bad deal. Let's ask young William okay. here. Hmm? Maybe right. the housing is not good. I don't. I don't know. You know William. the housing way That's better what I'm than saying. I do. So I'm trusting. Someone comes up to you right now and says, "600,000 will give you six hundred thousand dollars." Houses, or you know what I mean, really, this day you can and age, take you can't one thousand dollars a week, a half a house in Vancouver for twenty-five for that. years, mm -hmm. which would be you a total buy, of one point two million. You said a house. Mm -hmm. you so take you the six hundred thousand now, or one thousand in Ottawa? Yeah, one thousand single home. So yeah. I would buy. Okay, so you would be allowed to yeah. buy one yeah, house cash. One thousand per week. Yeah. yeah. Karen, w William agrees with you. Thank you. You're gonna go for the long haul for the one point two million. Yeah, you would not. Mm. Thank you. No, I don't think so. High five, I'm, son. In our age. I have taught you well. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think 600000 right now would be more valuable to me. Why? Than $1.2 million would be at when I'm in 25, 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. You're only 48 in 25 years. But your house would be paid off. But yeah, I can have a, like, I want a family in the next yeah. four years. and No mortgage is huge. Not the next four years, but... Having no mortgage is huge. You, I live it. I know that. Thank you know you. that. Family. It's huge. But that it, it is a huge. Get there. I understand that. But yeah, if I, I got six hundred thousand, I'd pay off my house. Of course. And I, my cars thing. are paid off. Like but at thirty-four, I didn't have a paid-off house. For a year. No, I don't think Maybe so you guys are right. Do. That was just you know my gut instinct. I didn't have a paid-off house at thirty-four. But if you did, think of where you'd be today. Having no mortgage is probably... Is that, that is a Canadian mentality, because Americans die with mortgages. They don't care. Really, yeah? Because you can write off the interest there. Okay. So you can write off the interest if you... Yeah, you can write off everything there. It's a lot different. That's why we, uh. when I first came to Canada, I thought, who cares if you pay off your mortgage? See, I can't wait to pay off my mortgage. But that is a Canadian thing. Mm -hmm. Americans, we didn't care. Really, yeah. But I understand it here, and they really. Yeah, Do you have the most of your mortgage paid off, or is it like we a put we put work into it? We definitely yes. put money into our. Do house. you pay up to that amount? Do you pay, try to make a lump yeah. payment? Yeah, we at try. The end of we year? try to get that as much. That makes a huge as, difference. Yeah. And do you do a biweekly payment? Yeah. Do you do biweekly accelerated? I have no idea what that is. Okay, you, you'll have to talk to my wife. She she's actually she takes care of all that stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> she's the she's oh yeah I'd be lost without her. Okay. She she does. So that makes a big difference in okay. getting that interest down and start paying directly towards principal. Oh, yeah, it definitely goes right to the principal. I, thought, I didn't know that's what that meant, but, yeah, it goes straight to the principal. Biweekly accelerated is like you bump up two payments in the year Okay. on top of your biweekly. Okay. And it'll knock probably another four or 5000 off in interest. Yeah, yeah that's what we, difference. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why, for me, it's like Your $300,000 house in Canada cost you 600000 mm -hmm. on a normal mortgage. Oh, I know, it's slippery here. It's huh? super slippery. What's there? I don't know. It's probably, probably like hairspray and stuff. You know, it's probably from foot lotion and hairspray mm -hmm. and... Your foot lotion? Maybe. It's so slippery right here. Um, but yeah, I know, mortgage is like key, key, key for me. Once the mortgage goes, that's... To me, it's that's like a Once good investment. Once the kids go as well too, you'll realize, oh my God, I have money. <laughs> yeah. That's where See, my we're kids, all going. My kid, when they get teenagers, I'll notice the money go a lot faster. Oh I'm my sure. gosh, it goes yeah. so fast. Three jugs of milk every three days. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the thing. I remember when Five I was like, we just Five and six hundred dollar grocery bills every like. Yeah. Ours know. are ours are not five hundred, not six hundred. Oh, ours were every time but we went. Every time. Every week. Every time. Uh, probably about, I'd have to go like three times a month, so 10 days, every 10 days, 500, wow. 600, a lot of meat. Yeah. That yeah. meat's expensive. Yeah. And the milk, we couldn't, I mean, we, we, we should have put Daisy in the backyard and pumped her straight yeah. into the house. There was so much milk. <laughs> but once they go, you realize, oh my gosh, like just me and Bruce eating. Yeah, it's a lot better. We still eat good. So the grocery bills cut like, you know, half. Because we eat out at restaurants and we eat still yeah. eat good food. But, I mean, that makes a huge difference. Big time. Big time. Especially three boys. Oh. Big three, boys. Yeah. Not and, little boys. And growing boys, too. Big, big growing boys. Mm -hmm. A lot of food. And then they'd tell me, there is no food in this house. And I was like, I just went to the grocery <laughs> store like yesterday. Because <laughs> literally, I said my mom and like, they'd like, rip <laughs> into everything in a minute. And it'd be like, we're, okay, we yeah. went to have a cookie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they Gone. ate those. Yeah. I was the same. When I was a teenager, lived at home. Oh, my God. It's always the same. All the good stuff goes right away. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Right away. As so, soon as Bruce, I <laughs> every time he tells me, like, okay, why haven't we won the lottery yet? You're really not trying that hard. <laughs> I'm like, I really am. Do you I had a friend that won $100,000 in Alberta. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
We know some of that won well, 32 uh, million. 100,000. My aunt won $2 million. How much? $2 million. What? Two wow. years ago. We were like. In what? When? Two years? Two years ago. What was she playing? Was it the 69? No. Oh, six, uh, the 69. The 649? 649. The 69. Uh, no, that was uh, Quebec 49. Wow. I wow. think it was Quebec. Two million? Two million. Her husband won. Oh. And he nice. gave it to, a, to her one million. Please stop talking about brand names. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That and is it's awesome. It's so sad because my uncle, he won two million and he died one year later. Oh. Uh, Something like that, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, sad. no. Yeah. So they didn't get to spend it? No. no. I'll, well, a little bit. They buy, they, like, they travel a little bit. They bought many things, but. Yeah. Oh. That is sad. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, it sucks. What a drag. Mm. I don't know whose shirt this is, but it's still filthy dirty. Look, it's got purple drink on it. It's got to be Dylan's. <laughs> Is it? No, I don't know what I'm just saying. Does it? It's got purple drink. The purple drink. Mm. No, I won like 2200 once. That's nice. Ooh. That's a good win. So I put it straight towards a mortgage. You know what we did? Uh, we went to Niagara Falls years ago now. And uh, so we went there and we put 50 bucks in a machine. We both put 50 bucks in the machine. My wife lost her 50 bucks, like, literally, it was because it was three Seconds. bucks a spin. Oh, yeah, just done. Like, she didn't win any spins, and then I was like, ah, whatever, I'll put my 50 bucks in here. So I put my 50 bucks same machine. First spin, boom, 2100 bucks. Damn. Nice. Yeah, first spin. So I was like, all right, sweet. So we, t we went with her sister and, uh, and uh, her boyfriend. Nice. So I took them out to dinner oh. that night. I paid for it That's all. That's from his uh, oh, We nice. went to, like, a couple, like, the wax museums. I paid for that. Nice. And then whatever was left, like, whatever we came home, the rest of them right to the mortgage. That's the key. My, my key, my goal is to get the I won 3000 at that casino, and I said to Bruce, he goes, okay, we're going home. I go, no, we're going to either double it or leave it all here. Mm -hmm. Jeez. He said, no, can't we go home? I'm like, no. And you left and it all there? No, I left it all there the next night. Blackjack? I think I was playing blackjack and actually roulette. I like roulette. They didn't have a crap table for some reason. I like craps as well. Craps is fun. I like how you can have your money sitting there, and it could be there for 10 minutes, it could be there for 20 minutes, it could be there for two minutes. Yeah. You know, I like, like blackjack tables in Vegas. Yeah? Yeah. Craps is fun. I like that. I like craps. I don't do slots. I mean, I'll, I'm one of those people it's that walks the, by the occasionally and just throws it in on my way by, but I don't sit there and play slots. Mm. Yeah. I like roulette. I do, too. Roulette. I play the inside, the numbers and I stuff. I like roulette a lot. Yeah. I play roulette, I play blackjack. I don't play poker. I used to play the video poker sometimes mm -hmm. at the bars. Oh yeah, they're always at the bars. Yeah. I'm talking about in the US though. I used to I used to gamble, not anymore. I don't I don't go anywhere. It's not really Bruce my doesn't though. gamble. Yeah, I used to. But no. Bruce not is not poison. a gambler, doesn't really drink. It's like me. No, he's a good good Christian boy as <laughs> I would say. Mm hmm Yeah, I just I don't gamble at all anymore. We used to go to the casino. We used to go over Friday or Saturday or whatever. But no. Just for a night out, you know? Just go 20 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever. Yeah, for recreation. Yeah, just exactly. Have they we, built a casino, like, in the new area, like, in a new area? And it is, like, all just machines, and it's uh, boring. Yeah, they did that in Ottawa, too. That, here, have a seat. No, I'm okay. They did, um, there's one in Ottawa and one in Hull. And uh, they're just pretty much almost, as, they're, they're just as close to me. And the hull What's one has... What's the name the, of it? Uh, hull? Like, hull. Hull. Like the hull. Like the boat hull? Hull, yeah. H-U-L-L -L is yep. the town? Yo, yeah. someone's going to slip and die Yeah, here. this is so slippery here. Yeah, hull. Did you clean it? No, I cleaned that because there was hair on the bottom of the... Mm. If it would clean it, will it be less slippery? Yeah, of course. Right, I'll spray yeah, some. hull is... Um, what means hull? Hull, like yeah. the bottom of a boat? Oh. It's got no. For me, it was the city. I didn't know the Yeah, boat. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hull. That's oh, where the so casino you is. you know the city he's yeah, talking about? Yeah, it's in Quebec, about? next to yeah. Ottawa. Yeah, it's, Ottawa. Right, it's right by yeah. Ottawa. My cousin lives there. So Ottawa and Quebec, I know you cross over that bridge and yeah. you're in Quebec. And it's literally 15 minutes from What's my house. What's that town called when you cross over the bridge? So you're by Probably Parliament. Hall. Yeah, it's... it's that's it's it? 
Yeah, hall's that... right across. Oh. Yeah, so that's where the, the casino is. Okay. And um, it's a beautiful casino. Beautiful. But that one has the tables. The one in Ottawa oh, is all slots. I wonder why. Yeah. Uh, is that it's one just, old? It's just cheaper for casinos to put slot machines in, like less, less maintenance. Employees. They don't. But have do they get there. money? Oh, it's the, the casino makes like upwards of eighty percent of their revenue from slots. Oh, yeah. it does. Oh yeah, the games are very small amount. Huh. Yeah, that's better. Sweet. It's all slot machine revenue. Oh really? Yeah, I hear that. That's what I heard. Is is you'd be able to tell me if it was true or not? But the slots is what makes them. Oh. Like is, that upwards, is that what you just really? said? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Upwards of eighty. Gosh, and it looked like there was only like. Penny and nickel slot. The penny slots, people people misunderstand that. Yes, it's pennies, but you could still bet up to like five bucks. You can technically bet more on the penny machines than you do on the loony machines. Really? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can you can a little bet bit, a no. penny. I don't even know if you can bet a That's penny, but they're pennies. But you could you could bet like do you have pennies. online gaming <laughs> in, in your Lots. province? What did you, I, what did you gaming. say? So can you go right oh, now? Oh, don't laugh if you don't understand. Because like, you pointed my ring, online? right? I said like. I'm sure. I don't know. I never do it online. I don't know. I'm sure you could though. I don't know. To be honest, I've never tried it or. Because I knew you were pointing the ring. But I'm sure you could. O L. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Probably don't understand that. Oh well, then you can. A lot of your jokes. I'm just saying. We have that too. It's B C L C. Okay. Yeah. You're not. Does Alberta have online gaming? Uh. <laughs> Where you can play poker or bingo or roulette mm. or kino or buy lottery tickets? I'm sure there is. You can buy lottery tickets online, but I don't know about the other stuff. Oh, we have that fully. So I never have to leave never, the house. I never I even thought go. about buying a lottery ticket online. Oh, that's all I do. I always get off my ass and go to the gas station. Oh, no, I don't. I oh, man, you know, I never even thought Some of that. Some guy just won like $12 million in BC online. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> yeah, I gotta start thinking of that. Cause it sucks that I had to get my pants, because I never wear pants at home. I never I'm wear pants or shirt. The air, like my you boxes. Just have and you're talking, yep. And you're talking past my ears. I, I hate yeah. wearing clothes. And the kids are Literally. used to that. Oh yeah, yeah. Like having Poppy's to wear clothes here all underwear. day is like torturous to me, huh? Poppy's in his underwear. Always, always. If people knock on the door, I have to put pants on, or I'll wear like jogging pants maybe. But I hate wearing clothes. Why do you guys all call them jogging pants? What do you call them? Sweat pants. Eh. Or do you call them track pants? I've heard people say in here. I'm you like, call what are you running track? Joggers? Yeah. Track pants, yeah. I call them track pants. Yeah. Um, jogging pants. Do you call it also joggers? What? Joggers? No. You don't yeah, joggers. joggers. Jogging pants or joggers. That's what it's. You call your pants joggers? Yeah. Like jogging I call pants them or. Sweat pants. I call them joggers. Okay. If I speak in English. I'm track pants. Yeah. Joggers. Yeah, I heard track pants. I thought, you run running track? <laughs> What's the deal? Yeah, like. Yeah, like Fresh the track. fact that I have to wear I clothes all day shoes, drives though. me absolutely it's bananas. Not like tennis. You guys call them sneakers? Sneakers, runners. Yeah. Running shoes. Runners, sneakers. I don't really say sneakers. Shoes. I say tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you play tennis at all? I did when I was like young. Mm -hmm. I could. Why? Now you cannot? Well, it's just, I don't, you need a partner to go play with. Oh, yeah. Bruce isn't swinging the racket. No. Bruce no. doesn't do any cardio. I'm going to play some Minecraft with him. When I get back. I don't know if it's playing it though. It's just you build that town. Yeah, you, isn't go, you it? can do it together. Oh, you can? Build stuff together. Yep. You can go look at his town. Me neither. Well, I'll learn it. He's got three days of town built. Mm. When are, I'm going to join Please him. Please stop talking about branding. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you think everything in life is a brand. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's like good. that. I almost said it again. It's like real, it's like computer L game. Yeah, technically we can't say Dylan's name because he's a brand now. He, he got so bought. Big country. He got bought. Dylan's. Dylan Big Country Carmen. Wex bought him. Oh. Yeah, so technically he's a brand name. So what do we call him, Man Beast? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because he got bought. Are you a brand, Kevin Martin? Uh, in, a, in a weird way. On a YouTube channel, but no. No. In a weird what way, What makes like, somebody a brand? Yeah, I don't know. How do you become a brand? What is that? What is well, if you're profitable. Like, uh, if you're, like... So if you make $100 a week, so like professional are you a athlete, brand? Professional yeah, athletes are a brand. brand. Yeah. Same like, if you put, like, Gretzky awesome. on a box, on a cereal box, that's a, he's a brand. Does but that make sense? when did he go from a person to a brand? When he started doing endorsements? And he know. started getting oh. revenue on 
product or what? Like, like for instance, Sidney Crosby, he's a brand, right? Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. he's like profitable, people want to use him. Who's he play for? Pittsburgh. Still Pittsburgh after all these years? Yeah. Is Shea Last I heard, still, unless anything's Shea changed. Is still with Nashville? Who, sorry? Shea Weber. No, he's, uh, no, he got traded to Montreal, didn't he? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I think that was, I think I that was a trade for Sube, I think. He was the captain, wasn't he? You I know, think that was from, a trade. He's from Sycamuse. Oh, yeah? Him and Cody Franson. I don't know if that was the trade, actually. They're I don't remember. They're both local boys. Oh, no. They show up and do a golf tournament every year. You know uh, Robinson, Lenny Robinson, Larry Robinson? Mm -mm. No, he used to play back in the day in Montreal. He was a big name. Uh, we used to do a golf tournament, and he used to be our guest, um, like, appearance. And oh. he, was, he was a big name in, in nice. hockey back in the day, yeah. He used to come. Really nice guy down to earth. Huge, tall boy. So easy to talk to. But, yeah, it was neat. Neat seeing him every year. But yeah, I guess I don't know how you become a brand. I guess it's like well, I just wondered how do you nowadays when social media is out, how do you? I guess say, we all are. Brand. I guess we all are our own brand. It's all of us, like not just us, so like anybody. Every person in the world is a brand. Yeah, I guess they're their own brand. I guess, and it's just. Uh, see, I don't know. I don't know. Then the word loses its meaning, kind of. You know, it's a lot yeah, of. Yeah, what's area. the monetary value that it's like you're a mm -hmm. successful brand? Because everyone says like sell your brand. There's got to be some monetary value in social media that says you're a brand. Like mm -hmm. you know, say like the Real Housewives. I love those shows. And there's more popular and less popular. And mm -hmm. then a lot of them go on to do other endorsements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they are get this residual shows and then they do their cosmetic line or whatever and then they're a brand mm -hmm. and then you look at the other one and you think no you're just married to somebody rich mm -hmm. so are you you know what i'm talking about do you watch but they could one? still be a brand it's just maybe a different type of brand or not but that's what i mean is it a monetary value or how does it become oh whoa what happened oh, oh. Is it, Jackie? it wasn't mine wasn't mine I thought it was the hair dryer Dylan. Here's your, here's your clothes, you, What? Your clothes. Oh, thanks, girl. Dylan, when you were They're on the den, huh? Demi when you were on the best. den, and uh, Demi. the guy bought your brand. Yeah. What did he buy? Okay. Me. OK, but what is it? 5%. Is it but your name? It. Yeah. It, no, no, me, just anything I do. But he doesn't take it. He, so like, he, he didn't just, take the deal? No, he didn't take it. He, he just gave me a bunch of money. Oh, gotcha. So, so your name? name is a brand name. Yeah, I'm a brand name, yeah. Dylan Big Country Carmen. Yeah. Like I have a business account or anything. Okay, so you're a brand. So technically we can't say your name then. <laughs> well, technically, unless you want me to sue you. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, Karen. I'll take you right to court. Take your ass right to court. Yeah. Okay, we got it. That's what we're trying to figure out. How do you become a brand? When is that line? You cross? have to copyright your name and then stuff. You have to get busy. So Big Country is copyrighted? Yeah. Dylan Big Country Carmen is copyrighted. Wasn't there a UFC fighter that was Big Country? Yeah, but he's not Dylan Big Country Carmen. It's um, Roy Nelson. Nelson. Roy That's Nelson. It. I'd yeah. slap the shit out of him. You should set it up. That would be, man, you'd make some serious coin on that. No. What do you mean, no? I, would, I make more. I, he's not worth anything. Uh. I thought he was a pretty big name. Like people he was. Like, he's an okay name. Yeah, he's an okay name. Not anymore. He used to, he used to be a big name. Yeah. Like five years ago, he was a huge name. Yeah. Not even huge. He was never like I don't know. He just never he took it seriously. So. Never took it seriously. He never yeah. fought for the title, and then that's why he never became what he could have been. He was mm -hmm. he had potential to be something big, but mm -hmm. if he had to use his brand the way that like if he used had to use that brand and, and took it a little more seriously, he could have been a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Fought for the world title and stuff, but. Every time he fought, I think he fought for the title twice, and he got the shit kicked out of him because he was in terrible shape with a huge beer belly gut. And the but other that guy was his brand. Yeah, but that was his brand. But he also could he could have trimmed up yeah. a little bit, and he could have still been big country with the mullet and everything like that. Yeah. He still could have been that, and maybe had a chance to win the fight. But he had no chance to win the fight ever. He, I remember when after one of his fights, he's like, "I'm gonna go eat some burgers," and like he was just like promoting that, like, yeah, he's just like. That's what I do. I, like they put me. I was in the front page of the Toronto Sun, and it was, it was me with a Baconator, huge Baconator in my hand, and uh, 
this is what the champ does after he wins a fight over at blah blah blah. Large like fry, large sprite, yeah. huge huge thing. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Didn't they say something better in sex? Yeah, they had me on the cover doing that too. Big country said knocking somebody's out's like better said said it's better than sex. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. I'm like why the fuck? Front page. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to have to tear this up, guys. Oh. Do it. So. Get that Baconator out. <laughs> so there you go. got to copyright it. That's how you become a brand. Hmm? you got to copyright yeah, it. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I know, I know what you mean. I'm just talking how about do you become... anybody. You can incorporate any business. You can go to get a BC Limited Number Company Incorporated. That's yeah, not You're what just I'm talking about how do you put value about on your do brand. how you say to you, this kid, like say he's a good example to this one. Up until six weeks ago, nobody ever heard of you, saw you, nothing. Mm -hmm. This kid has done da 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 da, this and that, has this, that, mm -hmm. recognition. Where's the line? And is it based on views, people, monetary? I'm sure that has something to do with it. And who, how is much there traffic a company, you can bring? Like, if you look at TV ratings, you say, here's the ratings, somebody's measuring it. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is past expectations of what it was last time or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, like they used to call the old days Nielsen rating, right? That was a good thing. Okay. There's got to be some measure, but I just don't know what it is. Yeah. In this new age technology forum to say, you made it. You're at the bottom of whatever rung, but you're on your way because yeah. you're doing good, and here's the measurement why. There, if there's not these companies, they should exist because that for me, would be something very valuable for people like somebody like him. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I completely understand what you're saying. I just don't know how. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. But we should now. And this new technology age, that should be like, oh, well, you go see, he should know off the top of his head. He should be able yeah, to just tell me, well, Karen, there is this company. But I don't, yeah, I don't, I've never heard of that. And so, and then, you know, they say, well, Kevin, this is what you need to do to do this. To get to the next step. Or... Like, you know, you're doing something, but this is what you need to do. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No worries. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. So, six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, here's another. Okay, Karen. So, if someone came up to you right now, okay. and said, "I will give you one million dollars," okay. you can take it immediately. Okay. Or, you can flip a coin for two point five million. Flip the coin. You're gonna go. Really? Oh, I'd take God. the million. I'd be happy. I'm sealing. Oh my God. See, technically, flip you're you're coin. technically you're giving up money by taking the million. You're giving up yeah. equity, right? Yeah, but, yeah. but you're getting the safety of one million. I'd take that's the safety. a lot. Yeah. No, it's not. It, it's one of those to things like you didn't have it to begin with, so you wouldn't miss it. One million for but knowing I could have had one million in my think, hand and be happy. See, I'm not greedy. Millions? That's yeah. the thing is I don't get greedy. I'm happy with million. one million. Mm -hmm. It's one million I didn't have. I so when you flip the coin, you're going to get it right 50% of the time, right? That's right. So for the, your value of flipping the coin is 1.25 million, right? That's how much equity you're going to get mm -hmm. by flipping the coin. So you're actually giving up a quarter million by taking the million. But... The opportunity cost between zero and one million, for especially for yeah. for us, is just massive. You know, for our net worth to go to like zero to a million would huge. It's, just, it's huge. Not as huge as you think. Oh, a million dollars? It's nothing. That's a lot of money. You will wow. spend so many millions in your lives. Yeah, but it's one less million you have to worry Who about. Cares. Well, it's not going to make the big a difference. A million's nothing. What was your number? Twelve million, Dylan? Yeah. What? What did you say? Yeah, we gotta talk in bigger numbers. Bigger than a million. See, a million to me is a lot of money. A million money. for two point five. If no. a million's all it is. Okay, so like Kevin's saying, so if they offered you the million dollars, or flip for two and a half, you'd go for the two and a half. I'd flip it. See, I have the opposite mentality where I would take it, and be happy with the one million instead of trying for the greed and going oh, for two. And then you can end up but with see, zero. There's no greed because it's not greed. It's all lost. But you if could. It was, you could walk it with zero. If it was take $100,000 or flip for $250,000, I would flip then. I would go for the two hundred fifty dollars with a flip. Okay, let me hear that. So if, if, I, if you offered me $100,000, take the cash, 
or two hundred and fifty thousand dollars I could flip, flip. for, right? You'd flip. I'd I would flip all day long. But by the point it gets to a million and two point five million, it's like too scary for me. That's when I back out. Two point five is way better than one. Than one, but it's million. for sure one million is better than zero. Yes. Again, I'd go back to the but I already had zero in that scenario. But you didn't have a million, and now you do. Huh. Depends how you look Take at it. Take me two years to spend that million. That's an extra two years. You don't got to worry about that other million. Oh, well. You'd be a million ahead. I'd really rather have the 2.5 in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Would you be crushed with, if, say... I'd be disappointed. And Bruce would be like half glass, half full, better than half empty. He would definitely want to take, mm -hmm. and he would try to talk me into just taking the million. But you would hear none of it. I might. Yeah. Because he is 62, and I'd be like, okay. Mm -hmm. But you know I want to flip it. Yeah. yeah. See, if it was like, we could take $10 right now, or flip oh, for right. 25. We're f all flipping for 25. For sure. Of flip course, duh. But by the time the money gets to like that million point versus 2.5 million. Even the 100,000, I'd take the 100,000. Yeah, with that. me too. I'd take it. No, a hundred thousand. I would flip over for two hundred fifty k. Over the quarter million. I would yes. flip for quarter million. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Gets to a threshold where the yeah. opportunity. I would take a hundred. A hundred percent. Another gambler. Yeah, I'd take a hundred too. Yeah, take a hundred. Over the two hundred fifty for flipping. Yeah. yeah. Either you take a hundred grand and walk away, or you flip for two fifty, and you could lose everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'd take. 100. You take the hundred k. Yeah. Oh, I thought you would have flipped. I'd take the hundred. I need money, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, Amen. Me too. Same. Everybody needs money. You gotta work. Yeah, but you got. Oh, trust me, you gotta work. You, that's what, you, you gotta work. But we're talking about a game of chance. But here. I like high risk, high reward in a few scenarios. Mm -hmm. So if you if you flip and miss, you have nothing. So nothing. sometimes yeah. you gotta go for broke and Zero. get nothing. Or you can be guaranteed a hundred thousand. Yeah, I'll take that. And yeah. I'll turn that hundred thousand into a million real quick. Yeah. I just spend that. So that, here's the other question that was asked. You weren't here for that. So, you know, when you, okay, so would you take 600000 up front or 1000 a, a week? A week for 52 weeks for 25 years, which equates to $1.2 million. But it would, it would take 25 years for you to get one point two, or you get 600000 a, a week? I'd take that. Thank you. 1000 a week? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. See, that one, it, it would depend where I'm at in life. Yes. This is why we have this debate constantly, mm -hmm. but I stick with the $1.2 million. Like, because yeah, I'm still I'd relatively young. Double. <laughs> Yeah, so while I'm young, the thousand a week is nice, but also that six hundred thousand I could turn guaranteed. into. Mm -hmm. I could turn that six hundred. Yeah, that's 000. true. I, if if you give me six hundred thousand, I'm turning it into like ten mil quick. Be, before twenty five years. I don't yeah, think it's before. That easy. I don't know. So I think I would take the gamble with six hundred thousand now. Because mm -hmm. you can what? invest that and yeah. double it. You know, it takes money to make money. That's just the way it is. Yeah, it takes money to make everything. money. Absolutely. You have six hundred thousand to work with. You what? can make some money. But 600 doesn't oh, even you're, buy you're one talking, house. What'd you say for 52, 52 In, weeks? That's 52 only 50. weeks for 25 years. Only 50,000 a year? 52,000 a year, yeah. That's weak. Mm -hmm. For 25 years. For 25 it's years. It's 1.2 million at the end of it. You got to look at the long number. Yeah, Not, but I could take, no, I, I retract that. I could take that 600,000 and make a lot more off of it. Okay, I'm taking the 1.2. I just I think the invest the long term you can invest that six hundred thousand and turn it into one point two probably in five years, six Here's years, the thing. ten years. You have to invest trusting that the third party mm -hmm. that you're giving the money to is trustworthy. And in my experience, zero trust. Mm. Fair enough. That's why you flip it yourself, make it happen. Hit the streets. Hit the streets hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm get just you, telling you, yourself. you're yeah. entrusting a third party mm -hmm. to do what's in your best interest yeah. with that money. And I guarantee you, they might. They're like any, <clears throat> yeah, they're, it's like they're any good themselves. defense attorney. They go into court and you lose, they think, they if they win, they say, yay, we won. Mm -hmm. If they if you lose, they say, you lost. Mm -hmm. They don't lose because they still got paid. That's what an investment does. Do some of the attorneys, don't they make some, some deals like they only get paid if they win? Yeah. Is that I thought that's thing? what it was. Yeah, that is a thing. Okay, I never heard of that thing. Yeah, I've that heard of that before. Thing. I don't know. I don't know no the answer, but I've definitely heard it. So not the good lawyers. I've no definitely heard that. No defense attorneys I'd ever do. It's yeah. like you lose mm. or we won. <sighs> gotcha. But I've definitely heard what you're saying. Oh, they make so much money. You apparently have never had to hire lawyers. Yeah. 
money up I've, front. I hired my lawyer oh, yeah. for the first time this well, month. Money up front. You have to oh, put a like, retainer. A the retainer lawyer put in like seven hours for me or something, and it's money just up a front. stupid amount of money. Okay, yeah. oh, and yeah, it's yeah, usually like there is. Four hundred dollars. If they don't know you, money up front. Like yeah, four hundred. That's what my lawyer. My lawyer is amazing. Why do you think like that? Make him murder a kid got four hundred thousand and had to give it all to them just yeah. to defend him up front, and then like look at OJ. Mm -hmm. He had to pay the dream team all that money. I mean, granted, they got him off in that one, but still, you're the paying it team. all up front. Remember the dream What's team? What's the dream yeah. team? His lawyers, don't you Johnny remember? Johnny Kardashian. I don't know the OJ story very well. Oh, my God. He, they were young. Really? They were young. They were, you were probably like so he's six the guy years driving old. in the... What year was it? Like 90... Well, Hunter was born in 94, 94. and that's was, when he was in the Bronco Chase. I think it was 94. Chase. Yeah, I was like two then. So I was, uh, I was like 11. And let go on Cole's So you think birthday. OJ was guilty? October 3rd, 1995, they set him free. Was he guilty for sure? In my mind? <laughs> yes. 100. <laughs> How could he not be? I said I don't know the story very well. He was yeah, cruising he in that white Bronco, eh? <laughs> oh, he was Headed cruising. Headed to Mexico with a gun and five grand. He was cruising all right. He was, <coughs> it was a chase. It was, that was a huge that thing. That was a huge deal. I can't believe how long ago that was. That was over 20 years ago. Can you believe Cole's 20? Holy crap, Isotoners. man. He used the same glove that he used the same glove that he represented, like he did commercials for isotoners, and he yeah. killed oh. the girl with an isotoner. You know where the pictures of the Bruno Mogli were at the That's Kansas so City stupid. Chiefs? <laughs> were at the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium, Arrowhead Stadium. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't there like a gl the glove doesn't fit thing? Then yeah, you must that have quit. was their defense, which was, you know, got him off. Yeah. Because, like, there was a Seinfeld fit, episode that made quit. a joke about Ridiculous. it. Ridiculous. Oh, remember yeah. the Seinfeld episode that made a joke about yeah. it? With the but broad the past it. guy who was won the show in the U.S. Yeah. did a whole thing on ESPN on it. Derek. Oh, he yeah. did the uh, the OJ files or whatever. Yeah. He did the, uh, what was yeah. it called? <laughs> it was really good. There was two really? of them that were put out this last year. They were both excellent. One of them had Cuba Gooding Jr. It was like a reenactment. Oh, he's a beauty. But it was so good. Yeah. And then the other one was the guy, the alumni from... So you think OJ Beauty. did it, eh? I do. He Where is, is he right now? Retired? Somewhere? No, he's in jail oh, for life. Jail in Florida. For Not life. Laughing. He's in oh, they, jail. they got him in jail? Well, because yeah, what happened was... They got him on armed robbery for trying to steal a stuff. Oh, his, his own, own trying to hide His yeah. own he memorabilia. Get the money. That's right, yeah. Oh shit! His it own just stuff. Gets worse. This is juicier than I thought. Oh yeah! Oh, it's about so that. good. They stole, but they stole the stuff from him. They stole the stuff, and he, and OJ tried to get it back. And OJ with tried armed to get, robbery. and they went in. He went in with a gun to a Las Vegas hotel with the friends, to and the because whole, they were holding room. the door like they were holding Big Country, and that's called armed robbery. So both of uh, so he was a star football player, right? Oh, my God, he's one of the best running back backs ever in the history of the U.S., and he had rickets. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was a total underdog story. Like, they didn't have enough citrus. In the old days, they used to have a disease called rickets, mm -hmm. which was like a joint knee disease that if you didn't get enough citrus, well, he <coughs> had rickets. Mm -hmm. Became one of the best number 32 running backs in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Played for the Bills. Bills. So did you hit follow the, uh, uh, the Ray Rice story when that was on? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, but that the, was belligerent. The football player who, who punched his uh, girlfriend. Oh. Knocked her out or okay, yeah, in the yeah. elevator. And then in the elevator and dragged her? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw that. that what a piece sick. of shit. Yeah, that was quite He sick. literally turned around and just yeah. drove that girl. Yeah. I think that's more common than you think. Oh, it's way more common. Yeah, you see it a lot. And uh, they're lucky that big country's not around because they break their fucking necks. Yeah, it was pretty belligerent. They have, so, they have a big problem. Back to OJ. <laughs> so he got set free. And then he was flaunting and playing golf and having a good time yeah. and signing autographs. And then they sued him in civil court. Mm. Goldman's did. And because it was for technically for both families, even though Brown's family wasn't really involved, it was for both yes. families. They won a judgment in 32 million. So that was their opportunity. They did all the depositions to put him on the stand in the deposition. Mm -hmm. And they kept contradicting. He kept contradicting and getting caught like a big brother game in his lies. Mm -hmm. Smack, smack, smack. And we all got to see it play out. On the stand. Because he never testified in his court. Yeah. Like in the Dream Team trial. Well. And he was busted. And then he said, I would never wear those ugly ass shoes, those Bruno Mogli's. Mm -hmm. And then they found pictures with the negatives of him. And he's like walking in the shoes up like this. And he was at like Arrowhead Chief Stadium, which is in Kansas City. Yeah. And like those ugly ass shoes. Yeah, he was wearing them. Yeah. 
exactly got them. It was pretty. So when you when you in when you're in court and you go up, you swear on the Bible, right? Yeah. What what happens if you lie in court? Perjury. Perjury is a big Perjury. charge. Perjury. It's a big you jail. Go to jail. Yeah. Fine. Go Fine. to jail. Depending on what how. Things really? Work. Yeah. What well, if you lie? It you depends on lie on the Bible. Depends on what you're lying about. You can't lie in mm -hmm. court of law. Mm -hmm. Do they still the do that where you put your hand in the Bible? Nothing but the truth will yeah. help, help you, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really still a thing. So the dream team knew Wait, it. What is that? Is, uh, so what happened was is that Shapiro, my gold ring? No. Where did you find that? Stop. It's from the competition. I know. Like weeks ago. I wore that gold ring on my pinky all the time. Where did oh, you find really? it? Oh, really? I found it like two days ago. Where? In, I think in the, the diary room. Wow. So Shapiro. It wasn't this from the. I only kept taking it away from me. I wore this in uh, Runway to Vito yeah. as the host. And it, it broke off. It broke off, and I started, I started wearing story? it from a pinky ring. Yeah. Yeah. And she took it away from me. So Robert Shapiro. Yeah, I've been wearing it like the last, the last two days. Really? You know Are you sure? Yeah, Listen. of course. Oh. Okay, sorry. So what happened was is Robert yes. Shapiro mm -hmm. and. You like that, Am? Robert <laughs> Kardashian were really good friends. And mm -hmm. Kardashian is the Kardashians father and he was OJ's best friend. Okay. OJ shows up at their house and in Kim Kardashian's bedrooms mm -hmm. with a gun says he's gonna kill himself. And Robert Kardashian says, you can't kill yourself. This is my daughter Kimmy's uh, bedroom. She was only like 11 or mm -hmm. 12. So OJ then had the ransom note, the gun and the $5,000 and he and his best friend at Al, I think his name was, jumped in the Bronco, and then that's when the speed chase mm -hmm. happened. And he was going to commit suicide. So Shapiro tried to talk him out of it and said, no, don't do this, don't do this. Like, you have your kids and, you know, your other kids, because he had kids from a previous marriage. Don't do this, don't do this. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. So it was like mm -hmm. this pseudo kind of confession thing, but not really. Gotcha. And then... He ended up taking off, and then he ended up turning himself in and back at what they called uh, Rockingham was what his estate was called mm -hmm. at that time. And then he showed up, and then he turned himself in. That's what happened. And then the dream team got him off. And then the dream team got him off, and then the Goldman's press charges and 32 in civil court, and he had to testify because of the depositions. Yeah. And he got caught up. Then he never paid any of the $32 million. He went on and he was in Florida and playing golf, and people were just, like, not happy. Gotcha. That, and so he caught wind somehow mm -hmm. that they were selling his stuff that they had stolen. So what happened was is he moved it to, like, eight different locations throughout California and yes. Arizona and Nevada to hide the stuff, like the Heisman trophies and the paintings and the stuff that was assets worth money. Yes. And then they found that out. So OJ gets his buddies together in Vegas, and they say, we're going to go get this stuff back, because the Heisman Trophy is a big deal in the U.S. For sure. Fuck yeah. If you win yeah. a Heisman Trophy, and he wanted that That's back. College Player of the Year, right? Yeah, that's like MVP. Yeah. He wanted that back. So he went, and they knocked on the door, and they only have the audio tapes. They had no videotape because mm -hmm. it was inside, but you can hear OJ's voice. And he goes, get the door. So the minute the guy... He instructed the guy to block the door. That's considered yes. armed robbery and like holding people, like kidnapping. Yeah. So he restricted that. 18 years in oh, a federal wow. prison. How long ago was this? Like five years? Oh, God, no. He's been in for now. He's been in for, I'd say, let me see, this is 17. I'd say he's been in 15 years now. Oh, he's, OJ? No. Oh, yeah. Hadn't he? No. 10, 12? 10 years. He's really? been in a long time. He's been in a decade at least. <clears throat> wow, I thought this just happened like five years ago. Oh gosh, ago. no. He's been in for a long time. Oh wow. Okay. Time I can't believe that was actually 20 years ago that they this gave happened. Him, they gave him 18 years though because they, they knew he got away with fucking Murder. murdering some girl. It's crazy. And don't forget the poor boy that showed up just to bring the glasses back. Mm -hmm. Don't ever forget that innocent boy. What happened to him? So what happened was, is they had had dinner at this restaurant. Okay, so they had all gone Those, to the uh, children's Goldman, right? school thing. So yeah, the little was... girl was having a recital, I think. Oh. Little boy or little girl was having a recital. And you know how families still get together and everybody goes to the recitals. Okay, well, after, I guess she, his ex-wife, kind of like dissed him like, see you later. Yeah. And we're all going to dinner. 
so the kids and like her family and stuff all went to this restaurant called Mezzaluna at that yes. time. Let's go to dinner. And he wasn't invited. So that pissed him off, is what they say. Gotcha. So then he had a tendency like to be kind of a jealous ex-husband or boyfriend. Gotcha. So the waiter at the restaurant, because that was a popular restaurant they always went to, his name was Ron Goldman. Mm -hmm. They realized, she called back to the restaurant and said, I forgot my glasses. And he said, being a nice boy, I'll bring them to you mm. after I get off my shift, 10, 10, 30. He gets off the shift. They were in an envelope because they thought maybe she'd come pick them up and he just took the envelope to her house. So what happened is, is the speculation from the timelines is when he came up on her house, the scene, she had this gate and then her door, because her front door was still open, her two kids were upstairs sleeping. So someone had come to the door. So there's two theories. Either he showed up first, and that's why he rang the bell, her front door was open, and he said, hey, I have your glasses. She just came outside down the few stairs to get her glasses, and then OJ showed up and thought, oh, What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Like you're going to sleep with this guy? Mm -hmm. And then it was on. Oh. Or he came around the corner when OJ was there confronting her like, you effing, why didn't you invite me? Like you embarrassed me in front of the school. Well, who knows, right? You know, you know mm -hmm. the kind of conversations that go on between people. And she was already getting stabbed. Oh. And he came up. And that's why the glasses are dropped, his shirt was up, and his, the glasses were there crushed and all bloodied. Did in he the kill him too? Oh, yeah. So he killed two people. Yeah. And the guy was just there by accident. And, like, slit her throat so bad that she was almost decapitated. Oh, my goodness. Like, bad. Oh, my goodness. And not mm. just like oh, that. Like, stabbed and, like gruesome yeah so then they found one of the gloves okay so then they found blood inside and out of the inside the bronco of ron's and nicole's and oj's blood because he cut himself really bad on his mm -hmm. knuckle so they found oj's blood in the so car they found one glove at the site yeah they found another they found the blood on the outside and on the inside of the bronco of all three peoples they found blood dripping all the way up the driveway because mm -hmm. his knuckle was cut. So how did this Bloody guy get off? Bloody socks in his bedroom. Dream team. They found a knit cap and one other glove behind his the door. carriage house. Yeah. Because the limo driver who was supposed to take him to the airport had already shown up and had buzzed for like 45 minutes and nobody answered. But that limos show up early to pick up passengers because he took was taking a car to the yeah. airport. So he must have pulled up and seen the limo was there. So he went around the back and he dropped that other stuff. So one glove was at the scene, one glove was behind. So then what happened was, is I don't know if you remember this, a year before, mm -hmm. there was this guy named Rodney King. And he had a long history of violence and drug problems. Mm -hmm. But what happened was, is one day he got pulled over in like a bad part of LA. Mm -hmm. And the, the cop cops literally, like six cops with guy. batons, literally beat, they beat like the this, piss out of this, like man. hacking the guy. Terrible. And he was literally crawling, and they were trying to still get away. beating that. They were cr trying to crawl away from them, and they were. Why, why that they... was so. Back up now. You okay, know the laid before. up. That was one year before in '92. So literally, they went to trial on that in L.A. They let the cops off, all of them. Not one thing. They, beat they literally they beat almost him? burned because he, because he L.A. Was drunk, to the he ground. He was drunk driving, right? He was driving drunk, and he had a history of, of drug, drug possession and, and drug abuse and violence. He yeah. was, you know, a criminal. And he, was, he was a criminal, but that doesn't fucking matter. No. They beat the... Li Six and he was, of and he was people black. riot? And he was black. Honey, they literally almost burned the They burned L.A. Down. down. Yeah. So what happened was... We watched it all on TV, and remember, this was like just at the start of like, well, you had only had like six years before that of 24 hour news. It was nonstop. They were literally, they took this one guy out of this dump truck, a, a, you know, just a worker guy, 
ripped him out and were just beating him in the streets. They were throwing bricks at people. Like it Oh my was God, people got hurt, eh? Oh, people got hurt, we, people got killed. We just could not, we thought we lived down. in a different world when we watched that. Yeah. Like literally innocent people, like you're on your crew trying to do concrete and people are literally just savagely beating and throwing bricks at people's heads. Mm -hmm. It And then through the of shops and looting, and it was pandemonium oh, when they let these was. cops go. Armageddon. It, when they, it was insane. So what? Are, so they just protected the cops, and then they totally well, the protected cops, the cops. The cops should have been should have been charged with aggravated yeah. assault. The cops should have been Almost killed charged. the guy. Almost killed him. Or did they? They did. Mm. Did they kill him? And this was no, in ninety. No, no, this no, was no, a no. year. Oh, ago. what do you mean? Then years later, they did it to him again. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... But he was in the hospital for a long time. Mm -hmm. they, they, hurt, they hurt him bad. Okay, so that's for what no L.A. Reason. was used to dealing with. So they knew that the cops... So when they got the Dream Team together... So now we fast forward back to O.J. Back to O.J. Now he... No, I'm really enjoying this. I feel like you, I'm watching a documentary. You have to understand that people like me who grew up in the U.S., like yes. O.J. was like this beautiful, good-looking, true Star. patriot yeah. athlete that was like running through airports, doing OJ commercials, doing car commercials. Star athlete, doing the airplane movies, like charismatic, would never dish a fan. Like if he saw anybody be like picture with you, mm -hmm. autograph, never do my Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah. Never, like loved his fans. Mm -hmm knew who got him there. But there was an underlying thing that he was, didn't consider himself part of the, that culture. That he was different because of his celebrity status. Gotcha. And he believed it and so did the world. And I believe that too, because we all just looked at him like he's this superstar. Mm -hmm. So then, O.J. Simpson. Yeah, it was different though. He but you know what I mean? There's a lot of these stars then. Yeah. There oh, wasn't like huge. massive he's stars OJ. like that. Okay. Huge. So then they compile the dream team, right? Like a ten the best million team of dollar. I mean, I'm talking F. Lee Bailey, Robert Shapiro, yeah. Johnny Cochran, you know, uh, you name it. So in the they, in the system of DNA law, expert, when you can use money to buy the best of the you best, you can get off. Like you can. Money just, buys you anything in the U.S. And was the O.J. case the highest case of like that happening? Oh know? my God! It was. We called it the uh, trial of the century. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it century. It's it called the trial. Which is a hundred years. Yeah, they said that. Yeah. I am a half a century. That was the trial of the century. We had never seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was '95. Trial of the century. We had almost been to the end of the century. Huge. Yeah, so everyone was watching this case. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, like, I was literally huge. glued to the set every day. I, I would literally watch it six, eight hours. Wow. I could not stop watching. And that's watching. the thing. That was the, that was the only case in, in the history that had been had so much network. Tell, like network. Trial of the century. And people yeah. like me, like. It was covered. At All first, parts of we the didn't believe he did it. Mm -hmm. We thought the same thing. Like, these cops are all corrupt. How could you say that about OJ? Yeah, exactly. Not OJ. Yeah. Like, no. Oh, my God, these cops are so corrupt. So how long did this case go on for? Like okay, well, so here's the deal. I know the timeline exactly because mm -hmm. I was pregnant. So <laughs> the murders happened on June the 12th. 1993. 94. 94. June 14th, or no, June 14th, 94. Mm -hmm. Then the chase was like that Friday. Then the the day that they let him free was October 3rd, 1995, because that's the day Cole was born. So my nephew was born on June 14th, 1994. Hunter was born July 19th, and Cole was born October 3rd, 1995. Mm -hmm. So that's the timeline for like how OJ. For sure. Okay, but he was held in jail the whole time. Yeah. Like, they didn't let him out on bail. They denied him bail. Okay. So this is what L.A. had dealt with. Yeah. So even us, like, people, normal people thought, O.J. didn't kill those people. Come on. And then they started telling us all the evidence. We're like, O.J., really? Yeah. Blood of those two people on the socks and the Bronco. So it started to come out a little the bit. The glove. How do you have that kid's hair in your hat? Like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, it started turning. It was bad then. Because we were all like, oh, no, he <laughs> did it. He really did it? 
And then they bored us to death with all this DNA evidence that we didn't understand, mm -hmm. that we had to watch every day. And they made it so convoluted for the normal person mm -hmm. that it's like, what? So this was 24-hour coverage every day. This was nonstop. Yeah. Every channel. There was, was nothing crazy. else on. Probably I don't like even the... know that whole year from July, June to October. Right. I don't know of anything else. I don't think I'll has been Has there been else. a trial like this since? Never. Like I, never. Never. Nothing like it before and nothing like it since. Never. Really? And that's why every documentary that comes out or anything, I'm watching them. Like, I don't want, I gotta watch these OJ dogs. It was also like the first, that's the thing, it was like the first of its kind. You have and, to watch and then the they, Cuba Gooding. They kind of took it too far. They kind of took it too far. The people versus OJ Simpson, it just won a bunch of awards, Emmys, and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was excellent. So you're saying people, like, the it took coverage, it. they took the coverage way too far. Like, there was cameras in the courtroom and, like. Yeah, at yeah, that time, there were still cameras in the courtroom yeah. and everything. It okay. Was too much. So, too okay, much. so this is what happened. Yeah. So then they know they have overwhelming evidence. Yes. So what are they going to do? They bring in two DNA experts that totally confused the shit out of us. We were like, what? Huh? 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 What, what the hell are they talking about? I went to science school in college, and I didn't get this shit. Science school. It was really confusing. You get my point. <laughs> then I went to science school. they started disputing the facts. <laughs> and Marsha <laughs> Clark, Nothing. honestly, was like Hillary Clinton. Not a real Clinton. thing. Mm -hmm. People didn't <laughs> love her. Gotcha. You know, they should have had some big boob blonde book something that was smart. <gasps> That's terrible. I'm telling you, it is how That's... people are. <gasps> That's <sighs> terrible. I don't care. They gave her the worst rap, and mm -hmm. she did an excellent job, but they didn't like her. So she was... Uh, she was the prosecution. She was the prosecution, her so she was trying Chris to get Darden OJ... Convicted. Yeah. And so this lady wasn't really respected. She you know what? She was, I guess she, in I her guess community she of lawyers, she boobs, was very respected... I don't care what you say. <laughs> they did not like her. They mm -hmm. didn't think her personality was likable. And he had, like, swag and swagger over there doing ballets on oh, yeah. his team. Mm -hmm. Kardashian I mean, was, wasn't one of the Kardashians. He was... Yes. I mean, it was like F. Lee Bailey would come in, and they were eloquent, and it was like playing a fiddle. And so then they, she'd get up there, and people would go, oh, even me, like, what? It was just like... You need to do this. Like, this is, yeah. it was just different. So how does that person get in charge of the prosecution? Like, who decides who is trying to get the DA? The head, yeah, the head DA guy. The DA. Okay, so then Chris Darden, who was an up-and-coming younger mm -hmm. lawyer, he ends up getting put with the gloves. Gotcha. Oh. So he's the glove guy. But guess what? They had latex gloves on O.J., they were yeah, soaked that, in blood. That was the thing. They had they had they had latex like doctor gloves, like they had latex gloves on them. To not contaminate. Then, but wait. Then try to put but them. But wait, up. they were bloody gloves that had dried. Have you ever got gloves wet? Leather, mm. leather. So yeah. they all are like this. They're shrunk. He goes, puts it on to about here. Yeah. And says, and then Johnny Cochran was, if it does not fit, you must acquit. <laughs> and it was like. Done. And so then, they didn't put the glove on his bare hand. No, they couldn't because they couldn't. Evidence, they could, they but couldn't. they should have never put him on him. Yeah, is the that point. was that was the big. He fucked up. The kid fucked up. Yeah. The, the, the glove. He said, kid. "No, we got to put the gloves on him." Or somebody. The came prosecutor. Out of the prosecutor. Oh. But Marcia didn't do it. The woman that they, yeah, they the didn't kid. like. The yeah. audience didn't like. You could tell the jurors nobody liked this yeah. woman. And she's a very smart woman, like super smart. I see her on stuff. He now. had latex gloves on. Of course, first of all, the, but, the it's not going to work. Dry leather is not going to slide on latex. No. It yeah. just doesn't work that way. And then it was wet, okay, and it, so the wait, glove, the leather I got shrunk. More. Yeah. There's more. Oh my goodness. So then the cops got on the stand. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the end with the gloves. That was that. So that was a bad for the oh, prosecution. That's oh, terrible for the prosecution. But what happened was. But they made it like it was their here's fault. Here's the bad thing, though. People lied. Yes. Pops lied. They said things like this. Have you ever used certain epithets against certain amounts of people? And cops said no. Like, what does that did you mean? ever say epithets? Kevin Martin was an asshole? And Karen Singville would say, no, I never have said that. That would be a lie. So I said, I never used that epithet against Kevin Martin. And then they go to Big Brother tape and they say, beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep, beep. Karen said that like 25 times about Kevin Martin. Well, they well that's a little excessive like that. for the story, yeah. but. 
<laughs> okay, but it's not excessive if you watch the story. So a woman had 12 hours of tapes yeah. on one of the main cops that found this evidence and said, did you ever say this about any of these people? And he said, no, never. Oh, uh, and then they got the tapes. And then they got the tapes. And he went beep, 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 beep. And then they put him on the stand and said, and F. Lee Bailey, he's a bulldog. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a, Do you ever uh, say this? I take the Fifth Amendment. So F. Lee, ba F. Lee, F. Lee Bailey was on the dream team. Oh, he like yeah. Head, he was like the head lawyer. Yeah. So what's the Fifth Amendment? Means I you reserve you my right reserve, not to yeah. perjure myself. You don't have to speak. Yeah. You can just be, be silent. Right? It's like I can be certain, but it's basically saying I know I said that, and so I'm just going to shut up yeah. and say yeah. I didn't say it, so yeah. I won't say nothing at all. I can't say nothing nice. I won't say nothing at all. So Bailey got caught. But he Bailey just took caught the Furman yeah, is his name. Yeah. Mark cop. Furman is cop. the cop. And he said some bad right shit. then, the jurors who were all from LA. Yeah. Oh, we lived this in '92. They're yeah. all a bunch of liars. We're not doing this again. We ain't doing this again. Yeah. We almost burned LA down last time. Yeah. This is over. It was just the perfect time for OJ. It was just the way that it went down with the riots in '92. Yeah. No chance Superstar was going down for that. After lie, after lie, the gloves don't fit. They never found the shoe picture because they had the Blue Reno Mogley 12, 12 uh, inch or whatever the mm. foot, but they never found them. They found that in the civil trial. They never found those for the real trial. Gotcha. What's a civil trial? What's the difference between them? That's when, like, you go to... People versus people. Like you're suing somebody oh, gotcha. civilly. So this is I'm like having a civil a suit against to, you. Like yes. This is the count. The, the you're not going to go to jail, but I can win Angeles. monetary money. Gotcha. And you can be found. So that's Judge Judy. Pretty yeah. much. Yes. yes. Judge Judy doesn't convict and the, people. Liable. The OJ trial was like the count the the state of Los Angeles or the state of California versus that's OJ right. Simpson. Gotcha. And that's like the yeah. Okay. Wow. So it's really good. So then that it was it. Mm -hmm. And then Kim Kardashian's dad, Robert, was standing in front of O.J. when she came back, and she stumbles, and she says, we, the jury, find Orrin Thole, and she stumbles, whatever, Simpson, not guilty. And Kardashian's mouth goes, Yeah. and O.J.'s right behind him. It's like one of the classic TV ever. Yeah. And then he turns around like, yeah. Oh my God! We, you're we kidding. Made it. Yeah, we, made it. we got mm. off. Like the dream team was just shocked they got off. Well, the one, only Kardashians' dad. The rest of them were like, "Woohoo!" But anyway, I forgot to tell you another part. Robert Shapiro, who was the first one hired, told OJ after the attempt uh, of killing himself at Kardashian's house and then the Bronco chase, "We just need to make a plea deal." Yeah. And Cochran got there and said, "We ain't making no plea deal." You're not going down for this. Yeah. Johnny Cochran. So Cochran was huge in playing that side of the race card. Yeah. Because they had shown race prejudice for years. Yeah. The cops, that wasn't the only story about these white cops doing this. This was, the, that's, uh, what was his name, that got beat? That was just Rodney? The one, Rodney King. That, that was, was just the one we got up. highlighted. Yeah, because some, we got the highlight reel on lady, that. Because some lady played. videotaped it from her window, yeah. and we're like, "Oh my God, they're beating this guy!" Because remember, we didn't have cell phones with cameras then, or no, video. No, she's holding a big camcorder. Camcorder. Like this. Yeah. It, and they beat the ever loving piss out of this poor man. They really did. Oh, uh, it made it makes you when you watch the video, it makes you like sick. To There's side. no doubt that he was driving, drinking, or driving or under the influence. No, of whatever. for sure. But nobody but deserves you, that. Six cops. So they basically almost killed him. Billy oh, for clubbed sure. him. And he's like, he was he's like crawling, trying to, trying to crawl away, claw away from them, and they're oh. like kicking him down, kick him, hit it him more. It was horrible. It was bad. It makes you sick, like ill watching it. It's physically yeah. like. Unbelievable. Yeah. But they pretty much burned LA down after that. They really did. They, they burned LA down. It was like we can't. So that's that was do a major again. role. That was a major part of of OJ History getting History and, and then the OJ thing came. Wow. It was just perfect timing for OJ. So watch the one with Mark Cuban. Good. You today. have to watch that one first. Yeah. Then there's one, another one, and you have to watch Derek's. There's that's like true. three. Yes. Th there's one ESPN, and then there's Derek's. And watch Derek's. Because Derek's is a totally different take that we had never seen before. Yeah, because he believes he's innocent. Yeah. Well, don't tell him spoilers, but he believes. Okay. 
Most you're gross. Something else. Did he say you're gross? He so did he start that? Nothing, nothing he's the he's, he's the head. Him and, him and one of the that lead detectives oh. that was really in no, it that's no, retired. I recognize you. That was Furman's partner and the guys in it. Okay, remember Was it saliva? saliva? No. Saliva. I would A night mouth? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, Karen and Dylan, thank you for great. telling me this story of O.J. Simpson because I, I yeah, never knew. Crazy, you should crazy watch crazy the story. thing. It's so good to watch. Yeah. And the before, trial of the you, century. You, you, you it was watch, the trial of the century. You got to watch the, some of the Rodney King footage too to understand. Yeah, understand. Everything. Go back and watch Rodney thing. King and know and why. And then the LA, the, the burnings they in LA. They oh, the Rodney riots, King. The riots and the burnings. Right? They did him wrong. That's right. Oh, see. So, does everyone know? Do you know Dre? Or sorry, Demetri, Do you know who Rodney King is? Rodney King. Well, right? certain people are gonna know name. more than certain others. Yeah. You know what who I mean? is he? They were just yeah. saying he was a it was a court case, but see, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know Rodney King. I didn't. Yeah, know him. Gosh, Rodney how King. Did you not know that? He did him wrong. Got, that was a huge deal. That was a Beat wrong like thing. Like by six Bad billion and clubs, falling away. Like, like, yeah, he Horrible. was like trying to claw his way. Like they broke his legs, broke Whoa. his arms. They what was this? Ninety-two. Oh. They hurt the man badly, hurt the Ugh. man, and they're just disgusting. It just yeah. it makes you ill to watch like, to watch it. But you got to watch that the the L.A. burning, yeah, the riots, the whole thing. Yeah, you have to know the, the preface for what go was going in, on in the mentality of the, L.A. I didn't think you were born time. yet, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was born in '92. '92, I was one. Yeah, but you know because you just know. I know because I know. Yeah. And um, so when I was one, that was happening. And recently, 2016, 2017, we still got stories, like horrible stories. Oh, yeah. Totally. Like that. Of oh, 100%. Of police abuse? Yeah. yeah, police abuse. Oh, yeah, 100%. for sure. Yeah. It's easier when you're in a uniform to abuse people. Well, yeah. <laughs> Abuse yeah, last few years there's been some rank videos come bad, out. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. It sucks. You know what sucks? The bad part is, it's the cops get that like the, they got the guy that has a gun in his waistband and he has multiple charges on on you know assault on a police officer, drug possession, weapons possessions, all this stuff. But then they they you, they take that mentality into every single every single one like. Oh, because he's black, he must have a gun on him. He must have drugs on him. He must have this on him or that or whatever. And they take the wrong mentality into every situation, you know? That's the problem. Yeah. It's, they have, they have. And they don't go to jail. Just and they, well, no, that, they yeah. get. No, that's the those thing. Cops, they get, that's why they, they get burned like, LA down. And those cops they get all like got released, off and beat Rodney. Yeah. They get a suspension with pay. Suspension with pay. Look at the fuck. Yeah. So they get a vacation. Yeah, they, they, murder, exactly. they murder the guy. They, like, just for instance, one recently, he's laying on his side. Where was this at? Uh, I don't remember where it was. It wasn't in Canada. No, it wasn't. It was in the States. Okay. So, so boom, they shoot the guy in the stomach. Then the gun, the, all of a sudden, it's commotion, commotion, commotion. This cop, like, bends down and puts a gun beside the body. Oh, and and yeah. they're, like, they're like, oh, he had a gun on him. He had a gun yeah, on him. Yeah, they like, planted it. Literally saw the cop bend down and put the gun beside the guy. And that's why they shot him. They had shot him already. They already shot him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, you know that I mean? one, So the, uh, I think it's the same one i seen. The guy gets in a confrontation with the cop. He was an older, older guy too. Older guy, yeah. older guy gets in a confrontation with the cop, and then this guy runs away. And I'm talking, this guy's like probably one 55, back, 60. No? Like he's not running fast. And this cop is like, it's you know, it's like watching Karen. So this cop could have easily just chased him down and t whatever. I don't know why he was running. He probably had a charge on him and whatever. A warrant. A warrant. The guy just freaking plants his feet. Points his gun and pumps eight bullets <gasps> into this guy. Oh my goodness! Right into his back, oh. drops him, walks up. No, he goes back to the cop car, Take walks back, plants the gun. Oh, oh my god! Some guy was in the bush and videotaped the whole thing. Yeah. Holy Good. shit! Yeah, that was a different. Was, one. Oh, was it different? Yeah. yeah. Different. This one he might have even. The cops, I think, should, cops I think, have to wear like a. I body think he cam. planted yeah. the taser. They are I think he planted right the taser. It wasn't a gun. He planted a taser on him. Yeah. Yeah, why are cops scared of wearing body right, cameras? Right, like, that's why. Like, then the story will be told, you know? Like, yeah, that one. Oh, no, I'm sure because the cops will make the video disappear. Just like they have all, they all they have dash all cams. The time. They have dash cams. I remember for one story, someone filmed, and then I think a day later, the person that filmed went online and was like, they're trying to get me. Because he leaked the video, oh. and he they're went online, to get, and he was like, I'm try they're trying to get me. Yeah. They're trying to, like, I, I don't know who to tell and blah, blah. And I think he got That's protection scary. afterwards or something like that. That's scary. Yeah, from the and then, cops. And then they kill these men. They, kill, they brutally murder these people. And then they get two months suspension with pay. Or like 
two months suspension without holiday pay or some bullshit. You know, like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Mm. Did you see the one with the guy in the car with his girlfriend? Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. one was brutal. And they just, he just, I did, he just shoots, horrible. like, literally just I pulls the gun out and shoots it. a guy. Yeah, the guy, was still, the guy was still buckled into his fucking that seat. That one I could not believe. I didn't see that one. So he just and what he, happened? And he bled to he, death he pulled, and died. He, he pulled up to the to the vehicle and and the guy in the car was like, "Look, I have I have a gun. I have a gun yeah. in the car. It's in the glove box." And the and he had his hands up. Yeah. It's in the glove box and he's like, "Okay, that's fine." And uh, and then he was reaching for his driver's license, which wasn't in the glove box, I think. I, I could be wrong. No, I, I think he was reaching for his seatbelt. I told him to get out of the car when they Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, there's, you're right. There's a gun in the, they have a gun, but it's in the glove box. Then he's like, get out of the car. And he had the gun drawn. He's like, get out of the car. And Buddy's like, okay, boom, shoots yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Shoots him dead. She was taping it with and the... And she was with... And her, oh, and the kid was in the back seat, But then too. they were saying, like, get emergency, get emergency. And they wouldn't call Nobody anybody. Nobody would call anybody, yeah. It's unbelievable. And he literally just bled to death, and she was filming it, and it was like, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, me? she's on her cell phone filming it, filming and, like, it. he's she dead can. right she's beside saying, her. You have shot him. You need to get emergency help here now. Yeah, well, she should have shut her phone off and called 911, but. That's a good point. It was <laughs> That's a good point. It was crazy. Where do you guys find these videos? It was on, I, I see that one. I see that one on the books. That one yeah. was, like, national news. Yeah, that that one, was a pretty big deal. That one, Yeah, because it went viral, that one. Also, mm -hmm. let's let's swip the, flip the script a little bit. Seventeen-year-old kid, seventeen-year-old white kid in the suburbs, doing a marijuana transaction. The cops like the cops like get out of the car, get out of the car. He, the kid reverses and goes to take off. Bang, 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 bang. Shot him like three times right in the side of the head, for a for a minor weed possession. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the cop yeah. just took the kid's head off. Seventeen-year-old kid. Yeah. What the fuck. So the, the guy tried to run. The, the like you shouldn't try to run, but like there's no. You shouldn't try to run. You shouldn't try to run, but you also shouldn't die because of that. Of course, at all. Like shoot the tires out. Shoot the tires out. First thing, you were right there. You could just went bang, bang, and shot the tires out. No. We we're just talking about other. We're talking about lots of other stories. There's just too many. There's too many. It's so sad. I'm pretty ignorant to all. Oh. Yeah, the world, the, especially the United States, has become quite a hateful place, and now that Trump's in, it's just gonna get worse. Oh. Just gonna get worse and worse and worse. Trump is in. Oh yeah, Trump's in. What's going, happened the last what, 42 we days? We probably don't want to know. We probably don't want to know. We haven't heard any Trump stories for the last month and a half. Literally every for day. For sure they're piling What's up. Your prior, prior to this, prior to us coming in here, there was every day it was something else. You did something else. So you think about it. There's, there's more. Karen, has there ever been a, like a presidency where there was? I feel like this election was just so huge. Like, it was just oh. massive news. Was it ever like that before? Reagan. I, all of them honestly seem yeah. the same to me. Oh, really? I feel like, like this one was a little bit bigger because this one felt both candidates sucked so But bad. even, like, the hanging <laughs> Chad thing with Bush and Gore, like, yeah, that yeah. went on for, like, six weeks with the audit and or then, whatever. It was like, God, enough already. Obama, Obama, Bush. That was a big one. And, you know, he's sit making fun of me about saying that about Marsha well, Clark, but honestly, away. like, if they don't Very like buddy. you, like, personality-wise, it's I'm like sorry. normal TV. They're just like, no. You know, the prosecutor or politician, if they don't like you, it's like, that's half the battle. That they love that dream team mm -hmm. made a huge difference. So wild. They were so charismatic and dressed what nice. Was the one, what was the one before the Soviet? Mm -hmm. Who was president? Who was, well, Jimmy Carter? Yeah, that was a big one too, wasn't it? Yeah, it seemed all big yeah, to me. All big, yeah. As long as I can remember. I can remember Nixon in 72. That was uh, a huge one, yeah. And then the impeachment. I mean, I was 10 years old. Yeah, that was a big in one. In 74, I was 12 when he got impeached. And then Gerald Ford came in to finish the presidency, and then Carter came in after that. Then Reagan. Reagan, that, that's the one. For, uh, uh, Carter to Reagan was a big one. Reaganomics. Yeah. Crazy. What a wild story. You guys told it very well. Good. Yeah, I never, I never knew, I didn't know it was the trial of the century. Well, those are the things that I remember, like, living through it, is, yeah. like, the highlight of why, you know, what happened, why it did, because mm -hmm. there was so much filler, but it's, like, that Rodney King led into them distrusting mm -hmm. rightfully, and then the cop getting caught lying about never. And I just, 
oh, calling was, Kevin Martin an asshole. The, mm. It was the trial of the century, but I truly, <laughs> I truly that? believe there won't ever be anything like that again, just because of Never. the coverage. Just because of the coverage. And there's cameras in the And in the, the amount of wealth, because he was able to hire like six Right, well, that, big, that happens a lot. Attorneys. That happens a lot. But I feel like the, the coverage meant everything. Like getting the entire nation watching this whole trial happen daily, you know what I mean? Well, because he was such a huge star. It was a huge, yeah, yeah. But the, because they don't do the cameras in the courtroom anymore, I, don't, I feel like that won't ever, they won't ever be able to match that. So that, that will, go, I feel like, go down in history as one of the biggest court cases of all time. Okay. Be for that reason, because of the coverage. Yeah. Because people murder people every day and go to oh, court. Yeah. Rich people murder people all the time and get a bunch of lawyers and they, yeah. they beat it. But it, it's not OJ and it's not the coverage and it's not the time. The and times, because remember, pre-internet, mm -hmm. I had my first computer, but we didn't even have Windows then. No, mm. no. Like, uh, we didn't have, I remember when Windows, Windows came out. What was it, Windows 95? Well, you said you bought your first for $2,800 or I what? I bought it for 2800 US in 1991. That's so much money for a computer. For a tower, big ass tower computer. Yeah, that basically, that basically did that. I have a picture of it. The, did it have floppy disk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <gasps> floppy disk. Everything was on floppy disk. It was back. a compact. Oh, yeah. Do they had, still make those? All of our games, we had a bunch of games on floppy disk. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I used to love that shit. It was fun. <laughs> like a big one is like 250 megs, like a big one. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah. a big one is nothing. It's like a fucking iPad. Yeah. Like you're an iPod. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. Oh, uh, our technology is so. You were born in '92. Mm -hmm. March 7th, you said you were in. Yes. Did you? Did yeah. you follow the, the Gian Gameshi case? On the seventh. Yeah, I did. Gian Gameshi? Did yeah. What he happened with lot. what happened with that one? He got discharged, no? Like he was yeah. fine. Yeah, they let he him go. He just can't work at uh, where he was working before. Yeah, they, CBC kind of banned him. Yeah. That was for a. He's a radio announcer. Right? That it was for a, Multiple a, women came forward and tool. like accused him of uh, sexual like. And uh, you know what? That came after abuse. the uh, which is coming up. That trial is the Bill Cosby one. Oh. Cosby. Oh, Bill Cosby. He, he that kind of started it, and then Gian Moshi. He was the G. Bill Cosby, I'm that. mad at I him. feel like, I, I never know if it's true or not, but I, I just know. feel like it's weird how the, these things All come these up. All these years later? Yeah, yeah. It's just weird. It's I'm, sketchy. I'm, it's Bill weird. Cosby was a man back in the day, like, he couldn't have done all that shit. <laughs> like, come on, Bill Cosby. Why do you... Anyways, I don't want to get into it, but I, I just feel like it's weird. There should be a law. If you have done... Statue of limitations? Yeah. There should be, like, you... Something was done to you, there's places that you can go and speak to people, yeah, and if you don't do it, yeah. then bye. Here's the things I feel like. Statue of limitations, later. if it's something where, say, you were a young girl, boy or girl, I feel if there was, in the hockey world, there's been a ton of those. Mm -hmm. In the football world, there's been a ton of those. Just women with uh, people that they trusted. I don't feel there should be a statute of limitations if it's anything against a, a minor. A minor, yeah. Because lots of times they're just fearful to come. They don't know, yeah, yeah. It's a shame. They live with the shame and the embarrassment, of the, and they should never have to feel like that, but they do. There should never be a statute of limitations on that. I agree. Things like murder, I don't think there should be a statute of limitations because a lot of people can get away with things mm -hmm. for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. But things like that where you're two consenting adults and you maybe were having a Mickey or you were you drunk, maybe or... saying, hey, you'll make me famous. Because I do believe that women, some of those might have looked for an opportunity with yes. a big star yes. and said, you can Not maybe get Bill. me on a show. Not just with Bill Cosby. No. With... You know, there might there's the old adage of the casting couch. Yeah. <laughs> I think that no, there was, couch. but that was a consenting. <laughs> was it consenting? Was it consenting? Oh, Probab shit. Probably. Probably. Mm. I hope. Just called me out. <laughs> I hope. I hope there was no. I hope it was always consenting. It was. But I, I always wonder why 20 years later. Yeah, is it why? is it too much shame or too much embarrassment or what? I, I just this wrong. Like, something's fishy. Weird. Yeah, it's something's fishy, fishy about that. Because like I, a lot I, of like players Bill, Bill have Cosby come forward. Bill Cosby was on Family Matters. He was Family Matters. The fuck? He'd <laughs> say the darndest thing. He wasn't thing. on Family yeah. Matters. Yeah, it was. It was Bill Cosby. 
No, no it matter. was his own show. It wasn't Family Matters. Oh, the Matters. Cosby show. It was My the bad. huge yeah, the show. Cos the Cosby show. Like, that was one of the most popular with Felicia Rashad. I mean, yeah. huge yeah. show. Loved it. What's her name? It was yeah. just on that song. Looks yeah. like, with her face, face like... Claire Huxtable. Claire Huxtable. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that was Felicia Rashad. Yeah, that was the Cosby She had show. just My married bad. Rashad, and Not he was just matters. starting out as a Family huge Matters football was player. With Urkel. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was Urkel. So that that's geeked, different. Got me geeked up like Steve Urkel. You know what I'm talking about? I totally do. I had an Urkel doll. <laughs> I had an Urkel, Urkel doll. Urkel. Whatever happened to him? He be, he actually came and turned into like a really good looking guy. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I've seen him on something. Yeah. 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 He's tall and good looking, yeah. big kid, filled mm. out nice. Yep. Yeah, like muscle and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yep. 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 Did I do that? Yeah. Did I do that? Like, yes, you did. <laughs> Little nerdy bastard. What can we eat, Karen? Oh, are you hungry now? Let's go. You're hungry? You're having roast beef? Yeah. You having roast to beefs? You Maybe with some chicken? Roast to beast. I don't know if we have any chicken. You can have a roast to beast.